Hello friends. Today in this lecture we are going to learn how we are going to make the regression model in R Studio. So before starting this lecture we have already done in the previous lecture that what do you mean by what regression and what do you mean by the regression equation and what are the different assumptions. Now let's start with the regression in time series. So before starting the regression in time series, let me give you a brief idea how we are going to start. So the first step in starting the regression in time series is to check stationary. As I have already discussed in all the videos that whenever we have to analyze any time series, so step one is to check the stationarity. So let's check the stationarity then only I can say that whether I'll be able to apply OLS regression or not. So I have already uploaded this file. I have imported this file uh, where I am having the data for FDIs, your exports, imports and inflation rate. So these are my variables. I have already imported it and I have already attached it. So first of all, let me check the stationarity of all these variables. So we have already discussed that to check the stationarity, we have different uh, uh, different tests. First is the augmented decouplet test. We can check the stationarity by Philip Perrin test or KPSS test. So first of all, let me check with ADF test. So for checking the stationarity, we all know that we have to library the package T series. So I have already elaborated the package. So let me check the stationarity. So adf.test and the variable name is FDI. Now over here you can see that the p value is less than 5%. So I can say that my data is stationary at level. Now let me check the next stationarity of next variable. So adf.test and next variable is exports. Now for exports also you can see that the p value is less than 5% level of significance that is less than 0 0.05. So I can say that exports are also significant or they are also stationary. Now let's check the third variable adf.test and then imports. Now in this also your p-value is less than 5% level of significance. So I can say that imports are also stationary at level. And the last variable is adf.test inflation rate. Now if you are going to see the value of p in the inflation rate that is also 0 0.01 which is less than 5% level of significance. So hence I can say that inflation rate is also stationary at level. So my all the four variables are stationary at level. So my first step is over to check the stationarity and in the first step we find that all the variables on which I am going to apply the regression are stationary at level. I, I can either say level or you can represent it by zero. So step two is if your all the variables are stationary at level, then only we can apply the OLS regression. So now step two, I have already checked that my all the variables are stationary at level. So next step, I can say that we can apply OLS regression. Now, if somehow whenever you are checking the stationarity of your variables, if you are not getting that all the variables are stationary at level or zero, that means you cannot apply the OLS regression. Then some other test will be applicable. For that, we are going to discuss in future videos. So now we are clear that in this variables, we can apply the OLS regression. So whenever we are going to apply OLS regression, we have already discussed that we have two kinds of regression. One is simple regression and second is multiple regression. 
so first of all let's talk about simple regression so to apply or you can say uh, to apply regression or to create the model in the regression of regression in R studio we need the package LM test so step 3 is to install package LM test LM test means linear model test so now you have to library the package so I'm going to library the package LM test now I have library the package LM test now first of all I am going to teach you how we are going to create the simple regression model that means simple regression model means we have two variables only now in this data set my first variable is inflation rate and I am taking the second variable to be FTI so my inflation rate will be dependent variable so I can say that inflation rate is dependent and your FTI is independent variable now I want to check whether the FTI has any impact on inflation rate or not or in other way you can say that does FDI is impacting inflation rate or inflation is being impacted by FDI or not so let's start how we are going to create the model so I am giving the name model 1 so model 1 is equals to LM that means linear model bracket now first of all you have to write the dependent variable my dependent variable is inflation rate so I am going to write inflation rate and then you have to press the tilt sign and then you have to write the independent variable my independent variable is FDI okay then enter now you will see that your model 1 is created now if I am going to see the output I can simple write model 1 your output will be generated but whenever you are writing the model 1 you are just getting the coefficients that means first coefficient is intercept and second coefficient of FDI because FDI is your dependent independent variable but after looking this output I am not able to judge whether the output that I have got from this R is significant that means value of FDI whatever coefficients of FDI is there whether it is impacting my dependent variable which is inflation rate or not because I am not able to see the significance level whether this is significant or not so if you want to see the complete values so what I can do I can write the word summary and then you can write model 1 now you once you write the summary it will give you the complete summary now you can see over here the estimates the coefficient values are there standard error is there t value is there and p value is there now with the help of t value and p value we can see that whether my these coefficients are significant or not now if i see the fdi the value of p is 0 0.255 which is more than 0 0.05 that means 5 percent level of significance so I can say that FTI is not significantly impacting my inflation rate plus you will see the negative sign so I can say that FTI and inflation rate have a negative relationship but that relationship is not significant now the next question arises that uh, whether I can say that my model is a good fit or not now for that we have to test check the F statistics or you can say the P value now in this P value is more than 0 0.05 that means 5 percent level of significance so we can say that my model is a not a good fit because if a God model is a good fit your value should be less than 0 0.05 that means 5 percent level of significance now there are various other things which we have to report in the research paper for example your what the multiple r square is teaching you what do you mean by adjusted r square what is residual standards are uh, standard error plus there were various other things uh, that we are going to discuss in the future videos in this lecture i'm just going to teach you how we are going to create the model 
so this is the way we are going to create the model for the two variables that means one is dependent and one is independent now suppose i want to create the model where more than two variables are there that means i am going to now i am going to create the multivariate model or i can say that multiple regression model so now my dependent variable will be again inflation rate but now i am not going to take fdi because I, we have just seen that fdi is not significantly impacting the inflation rate now i am going to take the other two variables that means other two dependent independent variables exports and imports now i want to check what is the impact of exports and imports on the inflation rate so now my dependent variable dependent variable is your inflation rate and independent variables are exports and imports so now let's see how we are going to do it now let me name it model 2 so my model 2 is equals to ln now again first of all i am going to write my dependent variable which is inflation rate then the sign of tilt then your first independent variable which is your exports then you have to and you have to put the sign of plus and then your second variable that is imports enter now again if we are going to write only model 2 it will give me only the coefficients i will not get any other information irrespective of the coefficients so just by seeing the coefficients i am not able to see whether my these coefficients are significantly impacting the dependent variable which is inflation rate or not so let's write summary and model 2 now you can see that now the complete information is there where you can find what are the values of coefficient what is standard error t value your p value your f statistics and the p value now just by looking all these things we can say that the exports and imports both are significant because the value of p is less than 5% and they are significantly impacting the dependent variable which is your inflation rate. But exports are negatively impacting and imports are positively impacting your inflation rate because the coefficient of export is a minus sign and the import is the plus sign. So, imports are positively impacting and the exports are negatively impacting. But now the question arises, are there are only these two factors which are impacting the inflation rate or there are various other factors also. So, that what we can judge with the R square and adjusted R square that we are going to discuss in some future videos. Now, uh, whether my model is a good fit or not, I can judge it by F statistics and the P value. Now, in this, you can see that the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So, I can say that my model is a good fit, but uh, whether only these two variables are included or I should include more variables. So, that we are going to discuss in some future videos. So, that's all for today, uh, how we are going to create the regression model in our studio. In the next video, we are going to learn about the various assumptions that means in the last video i taught you what do you mean by various assumptions now we are going to learn how to solve these various assumptions or how we can get the output of these various assumptions with the help of our studio thank you